In the previous tutorials, I explained how to draw a plan and furnish it with object tool in ARCHICAD. Also, I explained how to add details to the 3D model by making a skirting on the wall or even cornice for the lighting of the ceiling. Also, I explained uh, how we can add custom texture and make new materials. Before I going further, I would like to explain a tool that uh, I always postpone it for future tutorials. As you remember, when we select an item and we uh, draw it, then if you want to copy and multiply of the same object, when I click on it, we have an option named multiply. Today, I'm going to talk about this powerful tool in ARCHICAD. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. In this tutorial, I would like to talk about multiply. To start, I'm going to create an object. So I'm going to go to the object tool. And here I'm going to search for the cube. I'm going to select this cube. And then uh, the dimension doesn't matter. For now, it's one meter by one meter. Then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to click on the environment. I'm going to select this cube and I'm going to set the rotation to zero because we don't need uh, any rotation. Then I'm going to select one of these points and then on the pet palette we have move, rotate, mirror and here we can uh, move just one of these pink nodes and then we could stretch the height. Another option that we have is multiply. I'm going to click on the multiply and as you see, we have three major parts. I'm going to start with the first one, which is drag. And uh, I'm going to start with the first option of the drag. With this option, as you see, it explains that the spacing and the copies that we want to make from this uh, basic model are defined graphically. So I'm going to hit OK. Then next to the cursor, you see a plus sign. It means that we are creating more objects from the selected. So I'm going to click on one of these points. Then I'm going to enter a distance, for example, like three, and then I hit enter. When I move forward, as you see, we are creating multiple cubes with the distance of three meters. And uh, it doesn't matter how many cubes we want to copy. I can uh, continue on till uh, I click. So, for example, here I, I want to create five cubes and then I click on any space. You should notice that here you cannot move uh, in another angle except uh, the angle that you click for the first time. You can go the other direction, but you cannot give angle to these copies. So, I'm going to click here. Then we could set the elevation for these cubes. For example, I'm going to enter three, which means uh, three meters, and I hit enter. So I'm going to rotate the camera to see the result. This is the first option that we have for multiply. I'm going to uh, delete these. I'm going to select the basic cube once again. Then I'm going to multiply. And here you see that vertical displacement is turned on. If I don't want to move these objects vertically, uh, I should just turn off this box. Before explaining the next option, I want to explain the third segment that we have here. We can multiply the objects that we want by a path. So first, I'm going to draw a path here. I'm going to go to the plan view so I can work with uh, the two dimensional elements. I'm going to select the polyline. Then here, I'm going to draw a path. Uh, with uh, different styles. For example, this one, I'm going like that and then like this, and I'm going to try uh, different things. This is the path that we have here. I'm going to change the color so we see it better. I'm going to multiply this cube along this path. So I'm going to select this, then I'm going to select the multiply. This time, I'm going to uh, check 
pick path before input. And uh, I want to set the rotation to the path. Also, we could randomize the rotation. For example, we want to um, have an object like trees or bushes alongside a road. We could randomize the rotation of the object so it seems that we have different objects along the road. In this case, I don't need a vertical uh, displacement, so I put the number to zero. Then uh, I check the pick the path and I hit OK. To start multiply this object alongside the path, you should uh, pay attention to a few tips. First, you should put uh, the reference object at the beginning of the path that you want to uh, multiply. So with Control D, I'm going to put the center point of this cube to the beginning of the path. Then I prefer to have a rotation like this. And when I'm uh, happy with the starting uh, point, or actually uh, one of the um, objects that I want to use for this path, I'm going to select multiply. Then here, uh, I don't change anything. Vertical displacement is uh, zero. And pick path before input. And I want to rotate the object to the path. So I'm going to hit OK. Then here, I'm going to click on um, any point of the path. Then at this point, this is the uh, second tip that you should pay attention. It's better to click on the node that you want this object to be copied from. So I'm going to click on the center point of this object. Then we see uh, something like a shadow or a ghost of uh, the original object so we can set the distance to the next object for instance here i select 1.5 which is almost one meter and a half then i hit ok or enter and then i'm gonna continue alongside this path and as you see the shape is multiplying with the same distance that we put in alongside the path. So I'm going to click once again, and this is the multiplying with the path. Let's take a look at it in the 3D view. This is it. You can use this trick to make stairs or plants to uh, design a landscape or even the light post alongside a road. So I'm going to delete them all and move on to next option. I also delete uh, the path that we have here and set zero for the rotation. I'm going back to Trady View, select the objects, then multiply. Then I'm going to uh, uncheck this one. And also I'm going to uncheck the vertical displacement and I'm going to select the second option. In this option, we have another setting that we could set up the number of the copies that we want to make from the original object. So I'm going to set the number five, for example. I don't want to do the elevation and I don't need to pick a path. I'm going to hit OK. Then from one of the points, of the object, I'm going to move to any direction that I want. As you see, we can set the distance from the first object to the second one, and the other object is going to be created automatically. If I want to have the distance of 4 meter and the angle of 45, I can enter the numbers and hit enter on the keyboard. Now the multiply created copies of the basic object with the numbers that we put in. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to select the object again. Then I'm going to multiply. And as you see, even on this icon, we see that we set up the distance from the first object to the second, and then we could have the number that we put here. So I'm going to move to the third option. On the setting, we could set up the spacing. For example, I'm going to put um, 2 meter. I'm not going to do the vertical, and I don't have the path. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to uh, select the starting point, and I can move to any direction. 
and the multiply will create copies of uh, the original object with the same distance that we put in, which in this case is two meter. And we can continue on till any point that we click. So I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna go to the multiply once again. And the last option of the drag, we have an interesting option, which is minus one. I'm gonna check this one so you see what we are doing. I'm gonna put the number of uh, copies the same, uh, and I'm gonna hit OK. If I click on the object and I move on, we could have the five copies, but we have a distance from the uh, last point that we are creating. I'm gonna click, and you see that um, these five uh, copies are created for us. Where do we can use this option? I'm gonna delete this one. Then I'm gonna uh, create a column here and a column here. Imagine that we want to have five pillars or five columns in between of these two columns. I'm gonna select one of these columns. Then I'm gonna click on any point going to the multiply. Uh, the setting is the same as I just set, so I'm gonna hit um, OK. Then I'm gonna click on the starting point and I'm coming to the second column that we had. Then I'm gonna click and as you see, we have five columns. We copied these columns with the same distance of each other. So we have starting column and we have the ending column. And now we have five columns with the same distance. I'm going to delete these columns and going back to the cube that we have. I'm going to select it and going back to the multiply. Then on the first segment, we have rotation. The method that we have for the rotation is exactly the same for the drag, but you should consider that we are working with a center point to multiply the object. I'm going to do the same trick as I just did to uh, understand better. I'm just going to put the number of uh, copies to eight, and then I'm going to hit OK. The first click that we are doing is the center point. I'm going to click it right here or any uh, specific point that you want to uh, use as the center point. Then I'm going to click on this box. Then I can move uh, along this uh, center point. And as you see, I don't have the last object of this arc because I checked the minus one on the setting. So I can rotate 360 degrees. And when I come to the beginning point, we don't create another copy on the first object that we have. So I'm gonna uh, do it like this. And then we have nine cubes with the same distance of each other. I'm gonna um, delete this one. Then I'm going to multiply. And the other methods is uh, the same as I just explained. The only difference it has that you should first click for the center point. Also, you have the option to displace this uh, object vertically. So I'm going to the elevate. The methods are completely uh, the same as the drag, but we move directly up or down to elevate. The last option that I want to uh, explain is the matrix. On the matrix, I'm gonna select the first method once again, then uh, I'm gonna check the first input for the elevation and also the second input of the elevation. And then I'm gonna hit okay. This option is really interesting. You're gonna see it in the result. I'm gonna select the first point, then I'm gonna set a distance like two meters, then I hit enter. I move along this direction and uh, I'm gonna create five copy of the original object. So I will have six objects. Then I can move vertically to create an angle. I would like to have an elevation of um, two meter. Then I hit enter. Then I can move on the other direction. I'm gonna set the distance 
of this side. So for example, now I'm around 11. I'm going to put 11 and then I hit enter and then I can move along um, this way. I would like to have four copies on this side. So I'm going to click once again and then I can move vertically. I'm going to put in four meter for uh, this one and then I'm going to hit enter and we are creating this multiply by matrix method. So I did it very fast and very simple, but I'm sure that you can create very uh, interesting variation of uh, these methods. It was interesting, isn't it? If you also like these tricks, don't forget to hit the like button. And if this is the first time that you are watching my uh, tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for further tutorials. Also, if you have some questions about multiplying objects, please write it on the comment section. I'm going to read all of your questions and I'm going to answer them immediately. Also, if you know more tricks and tips to multiply an object in ARCHICAD, uh, write it down on the comments and share it with me and the others. Nope, I didn't forget the rest options that we have here. So I'm going to um, delete uh, these objects except the first one. Then I click these objects and going to multiply, but the remaining methods are the same as what we have for the uh, drag and uh, rotate. So I know that you're not going to have any problem with these. And I'm sure that you're going to have uh, a lot of fun with working with this option of ARCHICAD. This is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.